Adam West, born William West Anderson, September 19, 1928, June 9, 2017, was an American actor widely known for his role as Batman in the 1960s ABC series of the same name and its 1966 theatrical feature film. His career spanned seven decades. West began acting in films in the 1950s. He played opposite Chuck Connors in Geronimo, 1962, and The Three Stooges in The Outlaws Is Coming, 1965. He also appeared in the science fiction film Robinson Crusoe on Mars, 1964, and performed voice work on The Fairly Odd Parents, 2001, The Simpsons, 1992, 2002, and Family Guy, 2000 to 2017, playing fictional versions of himself in all three. Equals equals early life equals equals. West was born on September 19, 1928, in Walla Walla, Washington. His father was a farmer, his mother was an opera singer and concert pianist who was forced to abandon her own Hollywood dreams to care for her family. Following her example, West stated to his father as a youth that he intended after school to go to Hollywood. He moved to Seattle with his mother when he was 15, following his parents' divorce. West attended Walla Walla High School during his freshman and sophomore sophomore years, and later enrolled in Lakeside School in Seattle. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in literature and a minor in psychology from Whitman College in Walla Walla, where he was a member of the Gamma Zeta chapter of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity. He also participated on the speech and debate team. Drafted into the United States Army, he served as an announcer on American Forces Network Television. After his discharge, he worked as a milkman before moving to Hawaii to pursue a career in television. Equals equals career equals 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 early roles equals equals equals. While in Hawaii, West was picked for a role as the sidekick on a children's show called El Kini Popo Show, which featured a chimp. West later took over as star of the show. In 1959, West moved with his wife and two children to Hollywood, where he took the stage name Adam West. He appeared in the film The Young Philadelphians which starred Paul Newman. He had guest star roles in a number of television westerns. On three Warner Brothers westerns which aired on ABC, Sugarfoot, Cold, 45, and Lawman, West played the role of Doc Holliday, the frontier dentist and gunfighter. He portrayed Wild Bill Hickok in the episode Westbound Stage of the 1960 NBC Western series Overland Trail, with William Bendix and Doug McClure. He guest starred on Edmund O'Brien's syndicated crime drama Johnny Midnight, and soon snagged a supporting role as police sergeant Steve Nelson in the crime drama, The Detectives starring Robert Taylor. On January 10, 1961, West appeared as a young, ambitious deputy who foolishly confronts a a gunfighter named Clay Jackson, portrayed by Jock Mahoney, in the episode The Man from Kansas of the NBC Western series Laramie. West made two guest appearances on Perry Mason in 1961 and 1962. His first role was as small-town journalist Dan Southern in The Case of the Burfaced Witness. His other role was as folk singer Pete Norland in The Case of the Bogus Books. West starred in an episode of the ABC Outer Limits series titled The Invisible Enemy. He made a brief appearance in the film Soldier in the Rain starring Jackie Gleason and Steve McQueen, and starred as Major Dan McCready, the ill-fated mission commander of Mars Gravity Probe 1 in the 1964 film Robinson Crusoe on Mars. In 1965, he was cast in the comedy western The Outlaws Is Coming, the last feature film starring the Three Stooges. He played Christopher Rolfe in the episode Stopover of ABC's The Rifleman, which aired on April 25, 1961. Equals 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 1960s 1980s equals 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 Batman. Producer William Dozier cast West as Bruce Wayne and his alter ego, Batman, in the television series Batman, in part after seeing West perform as the James Bond-like spy Captain Q in a Nestle Quick commercial. He was in competition with Lyle Wagoner for the Batman role. The popular campy show ran on ABC from 1966 to 1968, a feature-length film version directed by Leslie H. Martinson was released in 1966. In his Batman character, West appeared in a public service announcement in which he encouraged school children to heed then-President Lyndon B. Johnson's call for them to buy U.S. savings stamps, a children's version of U.S. savings bonds, to support the Vietnam War. In 1970, West was offered the role of Bond by producer Albert Broccoli for the film Diamonds Are Forever. West did not accept, later stating in his autobiography that he believed the role should always be played by a British actor. Post-Batman career After his high-profile role, West, along with Burt Ward and Yvonne Craig, who played crime-fighting sidekicks Robin and Batgirl, was severely tired 
typecast. West's first post-caped crusader role was in the film The Girl Who Knew Too Much, 1969. His lead performance against type as cynical tough guy Johnny Kane did not erode his Batman image. The movie was a box office disappointment. For a time, West made a living from personal appearances as Batman. In 1974, when Ward and Craig reprised their Batman roles for a TV public service announcement about equal pay for women, West was absent. Instead, Dick Gautier filled in as Batman. One of West's more memorable Batman appearances, after the series had ended, was with the Memphis-based United States Wrestling Association, where he engaged in a war of words with Jerry the King Lawler while wearing the cowl in a tracksuit, and even name-dropping Spider-Man. West subsequently appeared in the theatrical films The Marriage of a Young Stock Broker, 1971, The Curse of the Moon Child, 1972, The Specialist, 1975, Hooper, as himself, 1978, The Happy Hooker Goes Hollywood, 1980, One Dark Night, 1983, and Young Lady Chatterley 2, 1985. West also appeared in such television films as The Eyes of Charles Sand, 1972, Poor Devil, 1973, Nevada Smith, 1975, For the Love of It, 1980, and I Take These Men, 1983. West was also in an episode of Bonanza that supposedly never aired until reruns were shown and he made several guest appearances as himself on Family Feud. In 1986, he starred in the comedy police series titled The Last Precinct, Return to Batman. West often reprised his role as Batman, Bruce Wayne, first in the short-lived animated series The New Adventures of Batman, and in other shows such as The Batman, Tarzan Adventure Hour, Tarzan and the Super 7, Super Friends, The Legendary Super Powers Show, and The Super Powers Team, Galactic Guardians, succeeding Olan Sal in the role. In 1979, West once again donned the Batsuit for the live-action TV special Legends of the Superheroes. In 1985, DC Comics named West as one of the honorees in the company's 50th anniversary publication 50 who made DC great for his work on the Batman series. West was considered to play Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's father father, in Tim Burton's Batman. Originally, he wanted to play Batman. West never appeared in any of the theatrically released post-1960s Batman franchise motion pictures and, to date, neither has Burt Ward, Robin, from the TV series. West made an appearance in a 1992 episode of Batman, the animated series on Fox, but not as Batman, as the role of Batman was already being played by Kevin Conroy. Instead, he portrayed Simon Trent, a washed-up actor who used to play a superhero in a TV series called The Grey Ghost and who now has difficulty finding work. The producers nearly considered scrapping that episode, as they figured it mirrored West too much. However, West gladly accepted voicing such a character. West later had a recurring role as the voice of Mayor Grange in the WB animated series The Batman. The actor vocally reprised his role as Batman for the CGI animated short film Batman, New Times. He co-starred with Mark Hamill, who vocally portrayed the Joker and had originally played the role on Batman, the animated series. West also voiced Thomas Wayne in an an episode of the cartoon series Batman, The Brave and the Bold, equals 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 1990s 2000s equals equals equals. During the 1990s, West's status as a pop culture icon led to appearances as himself in the film Drop Dead Gorgeous and in several TV series, including News Radio, Murphy Brown, The Adventures of Pete and Pete, The Ben Stiller Show, and The Drew Carey Show. He notably appeared as Dr. Wayne in the 1990s Zorro episode The Wizard, even being shown Zorro's secret cave headquarters. In 1991, he started in the pilot episode of Look Well, in which he portrayed a has-been TV action hero who falsely believes he can solve mysteries in real life. The pilot, written by Conan O'Brien and Robert Smigel in their pre-late night period, aired on NBC that summer, but was not picked up as a series. It was later broadcast on the Trio channel, under the brilliant but cancelled block. In 1994, West played a non-comedic role as the father of Peter Weller's character in the Michael Tolkien film The New Age. He played a washed-up superhero in the Goosebumps television series episode Attack of the Mutant. The boy hero is a comic book geek whose favorite superhero, Galloping Gazelle, West's character, is portrayed as fading and on the verge of retirement. Towards the end, the boy is shocked to learn that the gazelle is real, though he, the boy, must save the day by himself. In 1994, West, with Jeff Rovin, wrote his autobiography, Back to the Batcave published by Berkeley Books. In 1996, Virgin Interactive released the gambling simulation game Golden Nugget on PlayStation. West acted in the video cutscenes of the Chaos Mystery Storyline subgame. In 2001, he played the supervillain Breathtaker on 
on the short-lived television series Black Scorpion. In 2003, West and Burt Ward starred in the television movie Return to the Batcave, The Misadventures of Adam and Burt, alongside Frank Gorshin, Julie Newmar, and Lee Merriweather. Jack Brewer portrayed West in flashbacks to the production of Batman. In 2005, West appeared in the CBS show The King of Queens. In the episode, Spence first asks Lou Ferrigno to go to a sci-fi convention, but when Spence meets West, playing himself, he leaves Ferrigno and asks West to come with him. He appears prominently in the 2006 video for California band STEFY's song Chelsea as Judge Adam West, presiding over the courtroom scene. In 2007, West played an attorney for Benny on the show George Lopez, and he starred as the boss in the movie comedy Sex and A, Pop Star Pie. Following the release of a Batman game, a host of the show X Play visited West on the show. In 2009, West played himself in the episode Apollo, Apollo of 30 Rock. Equals 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 2010s equals equals equals. In 2010, a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars was dedicated to him. West received the 2468th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on April 5, 2012. His star is located at 6764 Hollywood Boulevard in front of the Guinness Museum in Hollywood, California. West appeared in a number of videos for FunnyOrdy.com. He was interviewed in 2013 on the PBS series called Pioneers of Television in the season 3 episode called Superheroes. Also in 2013, he was the subject of the documentary starring Adam West. West is among the interview subjects in Superheroes, A Never-Ending Battle, a three-hour documentary narrated by Liev Schreiber that premiered on PBS in October 2013. In October 2014, West was a guest star on the HuffPost live show, talking about his Batman role and the upcoming release of all 120 episodes of his Batman series. In February 2016, West guest starred as himself on the 200th episode of The Big Bang Theory, voiceover work and advertising. Having a distinctive voice, West built a career doing voiceover work on a number of animated series, often as himself, including appearances on The Simpsons, Futurama, Rugrats, Hysteria, Kim Possible, Johnny Bravo, and even in an episode of Batman, the animated series called Beware the Grey Ghost, where he voiced the Grey Ghost. He also appeared in many episodes of Nickelodeon's cartoon The Fairly Odd Parents as a cat-obsessed version of himself, who is famous for playing a superhero called Catman, and who actually believes he is Catman. His later appearance in The Fairly Odd Parents was a parody of himself, hired to play the role of the Crimson Chin in the movie of the same name. Yet another appearance on the show had him as himself in a fairy-sponsored video about how to cope with losing one's fairy godparents. In later seasons, the role for this version of Adam West was recast to Jeff Bennett. In 1997, West appeared in a national television advertising campaign for Zbart. From 2000, West made regular appearances on the animated series Family Guy, on which he played Mayor Adam West, the lunatic mayor of Quahog, Rhode Island. His role brought West a new wave of popularity post-Batman, and lead writer Seth MacFarlane claims to have gone out of his way to avoid typecasting West by deliberately not making any references to Batman. West also played the voice of General Carrington in the video game 13, and voiced other video games games such as Mark Echo's Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure, Chicken Little, Ace in Action, Scooby-Doo, Unmasked, and Goosebumps, Attack of the Mutant. In November 2014, West voiced himself, and the 1960s version of Batman, in the video game Lego Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. West also did voiceover work for superhero-themed commercials for the investment firm Lending Tree and television commercials for Hebrew National Hot Dogs. Equals equals personal life equals equals. West married Billy Lou Yeager in 1950, and they divorced in 1956. He married Nara Frisbee in 1957, and they divorced in 1962. Together, they had two children. West married Marcel Tag and Lear in 1971. Together, they had two children. West also had two stepchildren. During the Batman television series, West's relationship with co-star Burt Ward was described as problematic. He said Burt fell victim to making up stories to sell books, but in a way it was flattering, because he made me sound like King Kong. West said that he played Batman for laughs, but in order to do that, one had to never think it was funny. You just had to pull on that cowl and believe that no one would recognize you. Equals 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 death equals equals equals. West died in Los Angeles on June 9, 2017, following a brief battle with leukemia. He was 88. Equals equals filmography equals equals. Unless otherwise stated, the main source of this section is contemporary theater, film and television, 2012.
Published by Gale. Equals 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 film equals 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 television equals 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 references equals 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 sources equals 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 external links equals equals official website Adam West interview video at the Archive of American Television Adam West on Internet Movie Database Adam West at the TCM Movie Database Adam West at Find a Grave